Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. Today is hopefully going to be a quick video. I'm just going to talk, and when I'm done talking, the video's over. But I do want to talk about the Behemoth Titan, mostly with its super. My goal here is to talk about a couple more tools that you can use. Some of you are going to know about these, but I know a lot don't, so I want to try to help out with that. The Stasis Titan has advanced movement, it has elite movement, just the knee side alone can draw you in. But aside from that, I want to talk about combining some things to get a little bit more surgical with subclass overall. And the first thing, let's go to a custom match. Remember, Glacial Quake has freeze on activation if a target gets close, and it works well if roaming supers are kind of walking you down, because you can time it, activate, it will freeze them, it can work really, really well. It's a risk-reward, but with the super, we have the heavy attack. Slam your gauntlet down to create a shock wave that freezes targets and sends out crystals. When you do this, a lot of people hold forward, and when you do that, you leap towards your target. It's kind of a long animation, and it's a tad difficult to control. There's a place for that slam. But the majority of the time, you should be directing the crystals, and to do that, all you do is hold back on your movement like you're walking backwards, and this puts the animation straight down like a superhero landing. It's also much faster, even from the air. You see players pop the super, do the long leap, create the crystals. If you do that, if you have an area that you want to put the crystals at, you can pop above and go immediately straight down, almost like a Fist of Havoc. So when you're running players down, instead of leaping way past them and missing the crystals, get close and do this to direct the crystals towards them. Next, we have the Shiver Strike in Super. This is the light attack. The Shiver Strike does bonus damage because you're in the Super. The melee has two forms, a fast, straightforward strike when you tap it, then the other is hold and release. You hold to acquire the target, as you get close, you're directing your aim, and right before you get to them, you release it, and you get a very heavy aim-assisted shot. So when talking about the strike, I really enjoy it for movement out of super. And one of the things you can implement into your game is the Glacier Shiver Strike. You throw the Glacier at your feet, get some air. You're immediately going to hold on to the melee and direct it with your camera. As you get close to a target, then you release the button to go for the down. You can go across large sections very fast with this movement alone, but it can also be quite lethal. It's one of my favorite things to do, because if you do it right, it's going to slingshot the enemy off the map into a wall. But I want to point out how great this combination is on super activation. And with what you're getting ready to see, it's some scary stuff. If it was like this all the time, guaranteed, Behemoth would be the best super in the game for the Crucible. I'm in Mayhem, let's remember that. In Mayhem, you can do this because it will immediately reset your melee cooldown. But in regular play, it's much slower, but that's alright, we're going to talk about it in a moment. You can get up into the air and just spam the light attack to rocket across the map. It's a little bit faster than Dawnblade, believe it or not, and it will outlast Dawnblade. Again, you're able to do this because of the melee cooldown from Mayhem, but in regular play, you can still utilize this, and I do encourage it. I prefer to do it with that Glacier Nade boost, then do the melee, then the activation. But you don't have to do this at all. If you don't want to waste your grenade, if you don't want to waste your melee, you can activate the super, jump really high into the air, and then go do what we're getting ready to talk about. In regular play PvE, PvP, non-mayhem, you can get to a high point and coast. It's basically sword skating with how you do it. You shiver strike, light attack, and then you tap the jump. Any jump's gonna work, but I prefer catapult because it gives you that little boost. I've also found it just helps the most because you're gonna do that melee, immediately tap catapult, that helps keep momentum, and by the time you've done that combination, the melee is gonna be refilled so you can do the shivering strike melee again. You just go between the two, and you'll just kinda of be way high in the air like a dawn blade and coast. This does have a place. You can go across the map, you really can. Say you're at A on Widow's Court, and you know that they're capping B, just throw the nade down, boost up, take to the sky. It's just really, really fun to do. It also works really well when you know where they're spawning or they're getting ready to grab a flag. You can do this at a distance and just go. So with these things that I talked about today, I want you to use it as you see fit. It all has a place. Like the backward slam for the super makes it a lot better. If you want to do this a lot and play around with these abilities, run Heart of Inmost Light for faster cooldowns, also high strength, 90 or 100, and you might think that that's crazy, but it's really not, because you're going to combine Radiant Light, that gives plus 20 to strength, the Whisper of Durance, that gives plus 10 to strength. So you're at 30 strength out of the gate. Then we have the Aspect, Tectonic Harvest, dropping the melee shards, and then crashing into crystals for the Shard Fragment to get a fast cooldown on your grenade. Then, again, you can add on Heart of Inmost Light, you can pop a barrier, and just get all that going quick. You can use it a lot, but you don't have have to use Heart of Inmost Light, you can use Dune Marchers, whatever you want. This is just a couple of things to use in certain situations. I see a lot of behemoths pop their super and kind of look like they're a little bit overwhelmed, and I hope some of this information can help. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. You can use the link down below, and you use my code COOL at checkout for a discount. 
Let's talk about tips for the Stasis Titan below, share them, help your fellow gamer. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.